Thanks for joining today's snapshot, which will be brief as we do an update on the search for a new music director at Dr. Martin Luther Church. And then when I talk about just a couple of other things, we are searching for this music director now. The council and the worship and music ministry team met earlier this week and decided we should go ahead with this search rather than wait for a new pastor. This way a new person can be on board directing our music and that will be off the plate of the new pastor. On the search committee are the following people. Let's see, Dave Magadan, Jenny Brown, Julie King, uh, Whitney Sherritt, Robin Hankins, and myself. I think that's six. I hope I didn't forget anybody. And we'll begin advertising today. And we'll keep you updated along the way. In the meantime, while we do not have a music director, Robin Hankins will be directing the praise band and she and Lucinda Michaelis will be playing for it. We're grateful for their talent and their willingness. And Robin will also be arranging for substitute organists and pianists on a regular basis so that we will not be left empty in that regard and you won't have to hear me play chopsticks. We have an organist, a very fine organist who substitutes once in a while on Saturday night, Steve Krentz, and he will be playing for Reformation Sunday when we have our 10 confirmands being confirmed. I want you to re remember to practice safe practices when we are in church now in these coming weeks. You have heard a lot in the news about the growth of COVID in Wisconsin. It's been uh, every night, it seems, the last few nights. And Waukesha County is not like the places in the rest of the state, the Fox Valley, the north central part of the state, the southwest part. Nevertheless, we have a, a COVID rate that is too high though it has gone down in a positivity rate from 14% to 9% in the last couple of weeks. I think we're on the right track, but we all need to practice the social distancing, the wearing of three layer masks, wearing of masks whenever we come to church for any reason, and following the other practices you're used to in worship. Don't forget, if you are a part of a group that's using the church, we have a big fellowship hall with a lot of opportunity for spacing while we wear masks, and I think uh, we can be assured we'll be safe. We'll be talking about uh, what pr practices we'll use for indoor worship at our council meeting next week, but for now our plan is to go ahead through October and we'll see what develops in terms of the rate and progress of the illness. And we pray for those who are suffering and we pray for an end to this pandemic and ask God to strengthen us to do our part. Well, I wanna conclude on this very beautiful Friday with words from the earth adorned to him by Gustav Olain. And I think I can find him here. From out the word, from out the wood, the birds now sing, and each its song now raises, to join with all the universe in voicing thankful praises. With hope and joy, their songs employ a rapturous exaltation and praise of God's creation. Now I could say goodbye right now, but I got to tell you, there's one history item I have to note today. Whitey Ford died yesterday, the Yankee pitcher who pitched for the Yankees for 16 years. He died at age 91 of dementia. But interestingly, it was yesterday that he completed in 1961, 29 and two thirds innings of scoreless pitching in a World Series. What an amazing record, a record he uh, beat Ray, uh, Babe Ruth's record with that event that was noted yesterday. Well, I just had to throw that in. I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. God bless you today.